Listen up, cluckheads. You're listening to Whiskey and Wine with Rooster and the Madman, where we talk about common sense, current events, the Constitution, and morals. Morals. While comparing drinks of yesteryear to drinks of today. So sit back, relax, leave us a comment. Here comes Whiskey Whiskey and and Wine. So that I was that's whenever I was playing trombone, that got, that was the Irish thing that I got to do. It was it was pretty cool. I loved it. Well, you know who else plays an instrument is uh, uh, the Overlord. He, he he plays the flute. He's pretty good at it. Like the uh, like for the Saint, for Saint Patty's Day, like the like the tin flute. Uh, no, not really that kind of flute. But yellow uh, it's... card. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, okay, I'm on the same page. Yeah. So welcome back, lucky. That would just be like his big bag pipe. Yes, a big bag. I, either that or singular. A trump- he had a trumpet, but he had to bend over for that. I don't know what that was. About. Yellow card. It was Happy St. Patrick's that Day. Wasn't that, that, that wasn't a yellow card. That wasn't that wasn't a yellow card. That was in reference to the the intro to Monty Python. Yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was a Monty Python joke. All right. Well, anyway, so mighty Python joke. Am I gonna say it? Do I get to say it? He already said it. Yeah, I already uh, said welcome back, Clucky. Oh. You totally missed it. So you know who we are. You know what we do. Current events, common sense. Constitution and uh, morals. Morals. She's it's already, me. She's already yellow carded us. Yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> but you know what? Only one time did anybody ever get a red card. That is true. That is true. That is true. And I think that we ended up having to go back and edit that out. Yeah, it, it never made it to the. It never made. Well, I'll take that back. There's been more than one because. Yeah, they, they just don't make it to the air. Yeah, so, I, mean, I cool. forgot about some of the ones earlier in the. Earlier yeah, in the year. So. Yeah. Let's just not reminisce. Yeah, let's just not go through that. So That uh, dinosaur as, joke was funny, and I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> as she stated, it is St. Patrick's Day. I got my, it uh, is. See, I got my Irish flag t-shirt on. So uh, I look forward to this day every year uh, because you may not know this. Uh, not only do I have German and English descent background, uh, I am Irish every St. Patrick's Day. You know what? That's amazing. So do, so am I. And it's, and it's it's like on a movie marathon that you know you have to watch Boondock Saints and Boondock Saints. Yeah, and it, 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 I have to wait for St. Patrick's Day because you know Germans and English people yeah. don't really like yeah. to drink. Uh, not at all. So. Not even a little bit. Yeah. So that that's not in my genetics whatsoever. I need so. a hostel of vista, baby, or what is it that what is it that Romy says? I need a hostel of vista line. Too freaking sweet. Right now, and you're going to help me come up with it. Whatever he's talking to the hostage and yeah. Boondock says too. I just want to go home to my family, man. <laughs> so, St. Patrick's Day. This is the day of celebration um, that St. Patrick <laughs> led all of the evil reptiles out of Ireland. The vanquisher of the reptiles. Uh, he got rid of all those uh, those reptiles, all the snakes to be specific, all the carpet pythons, all the uh, <laughs> trousers. Uh, yeah, they. Trousers, snakes are in there. I'm yeah, so. not real sure. We're getting the look. <laughs> We're getting the look. I mean, it's 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 almost a yellow card at this point. It's, it's I'm holding the, the yellow card in my hand. Well, hopefully those trouser snakes don't find cotton mouse. Yeah. So, but you know, so but believe it or not, Ireland has no snakes. So, well, you know, we've been doing a non-alcoholics uh, with their counterparts for Lent. It is still Lent, correct? But since it's St. Patty's Day, we're giving up Lent. For Lent. Well, I think that's allowed if you're Irish Catholic. You're allowed to. If you're and I am today. Yeah, yeah, so I think I think it's totally okay. I mean, you can give up alcohol for Lent. Morals? Yeah. Since the purchase has already been made, I think morals was not. I'm sure there's a whole city of Boston that agrees with us. Uh, I'm pretty right sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, so anyway. ah, it's just one day. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> if I give you. It's a rule of thumb. <laughs> you can't do much damage with that, now, can you? Should have been the rule of wrist. All right, so uh, all my Boondock Saints fans yeah, out there. Yeah, so drinks. What do we got here? So we got so uh, we got traditional Guinness Extra Stout. Everybody knows the bottle. Every I mean, it's it's the it's like one of the it's, Irish. It's beers. the Irish beer we know um, in the United States. A little bit. Of, some of the stuff I didn't know about it is that uh, it was like first. It was first brewed in 1821 at the St. James. Yeah, it was a good year. It's a good year. Uh, in the St. James. Gateway Brewery in Dublin, and it was a part of the first batches of beers that actually had labels printed on them. Did you hear that? He said, "Beers, lassie." 
Bears. I hate you, Bones. <laughs> that's just that's just not cool. Everybody, everybody's allowed to be Irish today. Yeah. So, uh, including the president. Yeah, I mean, we'll get to that later. Don't spoil oh, it. Uh, don't spoil you, it. Don't spoil it. You don't saw that? It. Yeah. Don't you spoil saw it. that? I had that in my notes. We got we got that coming up. Uh, yeah. So in I the, actually have it in my follow ups. <laughs> the other Guinness that we have here, believe it or not, we're doing another Guinness uh, from this one is from the Open Gate Brewery in Baltimore. Uh, it is Guinness. It's just built. It's just brewed here in the United States, Baltimore, to be specific. Uh, it is their blonde version. I have never had uh, the Guinness blonde. So I'm uh, sorry. No, it's we're gonna find out, man. I'm excited. Uh, I don't think I have either. So I'm I'm, I'm totally excited. I mean, it's, <clears throat> but you know, here it is. You think they would have made here. a red beer, but you know, Irish red. So here's the crack. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, just cool. like just like regulars, I'll let y'all. Open your own with the church key there. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do the Joe Biden sniff test. It smells like Guinness. It does. I'm gonna go ahead and do some porridge here, which kind of makes me kind of makes me wonder. Like, what is the blonde gonna smell like? Because I mean, whenever you think Guinness, you think this, this motor oil that's getting poured into the glass. You know, where that like you can put a. You can put a, a straw in it, and it doesn't fall. I mean, that's what I think of whenever I think of Guinness, is that. Yeah. So I'm kind of curious about this. The really the, heavy the, beer. The, the blonde. We'll find For out those here Guinness connoisseurs, we are drinking them out of a room temperature glass. Yes. Wait, what? You're supposed to drink Guinness out of a room temperature glass, not a frosted mug or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows that. You got the pint <coughs> glass going. Speaking of these pint glasses, so in our Guinness extra I stout... That we're drinking these beers out of. If you notice, these are the acid etched USMC pint glasses that you can find at giftedchicken.com, home for all your beard, bath, and body needs. Yeah, right here they, in North Texas. Yeah, and not only do they have USMC ones, they've got Army ones, Navy ones, Air Force ones, uh, even have the Coast Guard one. So believe it or not, and no, you no can Space Force. And you can wash them <laughs> in your dishwasher. They no are dishwasher Force, friendly. I, the Space Force, they haven't been able to uh, find the Star Trek emblem yet. To, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, did, let's you, did you just sip that? I did not. Did you just did, sip that? Did you just sip? Did, did morals? Did morals just sip? I that? think morals broke I the rules. I give you my word on how I feel about Guinness. I did not take a sip yet. <laughs> okay. Suspicious. I'm watching you. I. You get, if I were to have taken a drink because it's Guinness, you would have been able to see around the glass. Well, I've got my glasses I get on. caught is because I always have like the foam in my mustache. And <laughs> you always always look over when I'm chugging it. <laughs> There's no foam in my mustache. Yeah, so. That is Wait, true. That is true. That is that true. Is true. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and open yours, man. All right. So uh, I'll use the uh, church key on my oh, you're wallet. Oh, you're going to use your wallet church key. You're a professional beer drinker. It's a pretty cool wallet, man. Professional wallet has got a beer opener. It's a good wallet. You're a professional beers drinker. Yeah. So, so sniff test here for the blonde. Uncle Biden sniff test. That smells pretty good. Both bottles do have that the actually does smell really good. Guinness harp it's on more citrusy. the caps. Kind of a citrus scent to it. Oh, does the blonde have it on there too? And, and yes, and this is actually their second blonde. This is the Baltimore blonde, not their normal blonde. They have two blondes. Yes, I've had neither. That I did not know. All right, and uh, you know, for these, we're going to break out the paws in the city yeah. pints. Yeah, I mean, I would try multiple blondes, but the wicked pints would for not paws. Approve. <laughs> you are not allowed to try blondes. Yes, exactly. Or brunettes for that matter. Exactly. <laughs> Stick with more of the reds, the reddish browns. It smells really good. Very citrus, almost like a blue moon. Yeah, kinda. I, I yeah. kind of hear. I, I kind of hear. What, I smell what you're stepping in. Let me put it that way. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We don't know each other. No, I'm sorry. No, okay. you're <laughs> cool. Dang it, Bucky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, are you ready to sip one here? You know what? Let's go with the stout first. The morals love the stout. Let's go with the stout. Let's get our cluckage clinkage on. May your brawny stone be free from moss. Slanja. It's a Guinness. It's Guinness. It's extra. It's extra thick. Extra. And it's, I, I like it. Coffee undertones with toffee overtones. Yeah, heavy on the coffee. It's coffee you can slice in a glass. Yeah. I ain't complaining. I mean, I like coffee. I love coffee. I love Guinness. Oh. All right. There you go. Cool. I already like it. So let's see here. What we got for topic number one? 
Topic numero uno. Oh, actually, um, this is a little bit of a follow up from earlier in the year, but not. Yeah, but we, not. it is. It is. I mean, it's, it's a long follow up. I mean, we've had a couple of tournament fermentations since then. Yeah. But. You want to start? Or you want me to start? Well, you know, go ahead and kick it off, man. All right, timer is started. Well, for all of my tech gurus out there, and I know that the know that the two of y'all do a lot of techie space wizardry stuff with computers. Don't know if you heard, but multiple newspapers have come out today stating that yes, Hunter Biden's computer was real, that it was there, that it that everything about it was real. Until it was, and then it just mysteriously disappeared whenever it was seized by the FBI. Yeah, it's not really a mystery when the FBI comes in and take it when your dad is running for president of the United States, and then the thing disappears all the way through the election. Well, that's just that's just a coincidence, man. It might have been Corn Pop. Might have been Corn Pop, the cybersecurity hacker. Maybe Corn Pop works for the FBI now. <laughs> <laughs> he was a bad dude. Yeah, and, he you was, know. You, and you know, but you know, speaking of bad dudes, um, did you see some of the stuff that? They said were on, that was on the computer. Yeah, so I mean, a couple of things that were on there were like photos, texts, emails, financial disclosures of dealings with political leverage. Wait, overseas. what? <laughs> no. Yes, it's weird stuff. Uh, obviously, you know, he he worked for that Ukrainian gas company, and yeah, it, we're, it, like I said, it's, sh- it's supposed to show that he used political leverage using his you know his dad and his family influence uh, to to gain some of these. Uh, these nice little and surely there kickbacks and surely there wasn't and, pictures on there of like doing drugs and prostitutes. Oh, probably and, not. I mean, and, they, I mean, no. I mean, Hunter Biden would probably have to be a you know a, a you know crack addict or you know meth head or something. Uh, you know, something I don't know. Like that. I mean, but he has his problems, so he or surely the, would put pictures of it out there. Or, or the fact that you know he committed tax fraud and since two thousand that, that was on there too. Yeah. yeah so uh, yeah. not only apparently allegedly is it on there. Uh, it's actually proof that he paid a million dollar fine okay. to the IRS. Right quick. She's got the, both the red and the yellow card in each hand. And I haven't even done anything yet. It's not a but, proverbial card anymore. But, it's re- they're real cards. But now it's like I'm nervous. Are we going to get yellow carded or red carded on something that. I, mean, I don't know. I you, mean, are, you are way too antsy with that. I need you to put those yeah. on the table. So, but back to so Biden, or excuse me, Hunter specifically. Uh, has been under investigation uh, for tax fraud. Is that a felony? For basically ever. Uh, since his dad was vice president, he's always under investigation. But apparently the laptop did contain that he paid a million-dollar fine uh, to settle a tax fraud situation. So, yeah, it, it, it sounds like uh, yeah, he absolutely did it, and he, he, he paid for it just to kind of make it all go hush-hush and go away. But he left it on a laptop, and, you know, there it is. Well, the dude that actually reported it. Now, first off, He's legally blind. He ha- and so he has to work on this stuff like super up close. He thought that he was doing his patriotic duty to turn this in. Since then, he has been targeted by multiple audits. Oh, yeah. He has been targeted by different uh, media outlets that are more left-leaning to the point that ne- he had to move states because of death threats. People were going by his shop, breaking stuff, and then on – top of that the tw- like he ended up getting in a lawsuit with twitter because he had posted something about it so he was taking on a social media conglomerate sure. and, and now he's having to file bankruptcy it, it doesn't surprise me at all i mean i think it, anytime um people have come in contact with something they find that's not so pleasant for the governments or high-ranking officials their life always seems to fall apart uh, there was a guy, uh, but I, I will remember, say this: I don't remember the reporter's name, but he he busted the Contra thing about the CIA moving drugs. Oh, the Iran the Contra, States. yeah, yeah uh, and, and selling you know selling it to minorities in Los Angeles. But uh, you know, they ruined his life. In, in the great words of Colonel Oliver North, I do not recall. Yeah, but they ruined this dude's life. Yeah, I mean, he was a he, well. They're he, doing the same thing to this guy. Yeah, and he just he and he didn't break the case. He just kind of happened upon a court case when he was at a court covering something else. I was like, wait a minute, did I just hear something that I? Probably wasn't supposed to hear, so he ran with it, uh, and they destroyed his life. Think of the gun shop owner during the Fast and Furious thing or the uh, Obama administration. Oh, yeah. Where they said, yes, give the cartel those weapons without background checks. Destroyed his life. Yeah. And it wasn't the cartel. The government helped destroy yeah. his life. Got to love the CIA, man. So, I mean, it's, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, hold on, the hold on, hold the, on. this is the White House administration. Hold on. Let's look in on a couple Wikipedia pages. Nothing. It's me. Oh, 
Yeah, we we'll show up on that page one of these days. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, apparently, you know, we're uh, apparently we both have a very unfortunate accident next Thursday. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's already it's already on the wiki page. Yeah. So. yeah. But yeah, so I mean, he, he, I, I feel for the guy, and he even said that if he had the chance to do it all over again, that he would. Yeah. So, oh, the timer just went off. So there we go. Yeah. What do y'all think about this Guinness? It's it's Guinness. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I, it's Guinness. If if you like that coffee flavor style beer, you'll like Guinness. Yeah, I'm, I know uh, that it's not your, it's not one of your things. No, it's not one of my things. Uh, I mean, if you're smoking like a really. Um, like an aromatic pipe or something. Well, yeah, I'm just thinking almost like one of those really dark cigars, the uh, almost where the leaf is black kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, this would be a good uh, deal to go with. I think that was my laptop uh, making a noise there. But uh, this would be kind of a good uh, beer to go with it, if that's what you're looking to have a beer with it. Um, or beers. Or beers. Uh, but I've never really been a super dark beer guy. I like the box, like Shiner Box and stuff like that. But, you know, the coffee when's stouts. Are the when, when's you get pa- do you, do, would you like vanilla stouts? I don't know if I've actually had the vanilla stout. Well, the vanilla stout or oh, a vanilla stout, rooster. excuse me. Well, uh, after a uh, tournament of fermentation, I think that someone what you tried to give do. me a milk stout once, and I was like, "You don't understand. I am lactose intolerant. <laughs> 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 I'm not turning it down because it's beer, and I don't do that. I'm turning it down because I like to enjoy my beer." <laughs> <laughs> so, so sorry for you. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's Guinness. If you like dark beer, this is a good dark beer. Uh, I personally liked the Shinerbach uh, Black Bohemian Lager a little bit yeah, better. Yeah, but this, was, but this was different, though. This isn't the same thing. No, but I'm just saying, in those dark coffee stout kind of beers, I think I like the, the Shiner version a little bit better. Those beers? One. Those beers. Yeah. Those beers. The beers. She has given us a straight go to cluck look. Yeah. Let's I mean, go on to yeah, another topic. Well, principle. we had to we had to uh, we had to do the, the the blondie, don't we? Oh yeah, the blondie. So here we go. We got our Baltimore blonde. We got our Baltimore blonde and our paws in the city glasses. Here we go. That is more citrusy than I was than it smells. It is, and I really like it. It's blue moon and again. It's bottle that's yeah. that's kind of what that's kind of what rooster said well you anyway. know it's it's blue moon but it's not it doesn't have the same bite that blue moon does in the citrus i mean it's like a mellow citrus this doesn't have the aftertaste of blue moon is yeah. what is what i'm is what i have that's what i mean you know it's kind of mellowed out yeah could be because i still got the coffee stout flavor in my mouth could be too, so. this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting yeah. one to do the, the back so far i like on. it though it's it's a good one and the color is amazing that actually is a really good color. Yeah, it's a good color. I mean, you know, the the Guinness Drought is exactly the color you expect. The the blonde yeah. is a, is a great color for a blonde. I mean, in in, in all honesty, there's not a top end low end this week. No, it's St. Patty's Day, and we just grabbed two Irish beers. And, no, uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not disappointed with either one of them. No, you can't go wrong. Uh, just for clarification, we're not drinking the drought. We're drinking the stout. They're different. Uh, yeah, the stout. Yeah, sorry, did I say drought? My bad. We're drinking the. Drought is what I have at the house. <laughs> We're drinking the extra stout. I have, a, I have the drought tall boys. I totally did house. not take a silent you know, pause cool, there to turn like around a and look. Glass marble in those things. Talking about it like in the cans? Yeah. Yeah, I've always wanted to cut that marble out. And see what it, it's just a little glass marble. I think it's plastic now. Uh, yeah. That And they had that Guinness Nitro brew, too. Not tried that. It's more coffee flavored than even yeah. the stout. So if you're not a coffee stout fan don't do it cool all right well, let's get on this next topic all right so you took the last one so i'll take i'll start off on this one selfish so, clucker i know i'm just all right timer started clucker. and go so ukraine and russia if people have not already figured this out uh, they're having a little conflict going on russia's this, bad mk okay. uh so yeah we, there's nothing new on that front. The Russians are brutal. They're bombing. Well, Zelensky did did make that 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 yeah, video, video for Congress. Yeah. And ever and after the 40 second mark, it was like nothing but children and yeah, women. It's and just, it's, it's it's clear that it made you know, me civilians livid. Are, civilians are a target. Oh uh, yeah, right? civilians are a target. Um, but just to kind of you know hammer home a little bit more why Putin is acting the way he does. Uh, is you Putin, know Putin, Putin. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, because he's almost acting like you know Stalin himself did. Oh, uh, remember Stalin invaded uh, Ukraine nineteen, or maybe it wasn't Stalin, but Stalin. Uh, he said the problem in Ukraine was it had too many Ukrainians yeah. that they needed more loyal Russians. Well, Putin has now said that about his own people in Russia proper. That he said that the country is full of traitors 
And it is time they start to cleanse Russia from these traitors who don't follow the Kremlin, what are you ever seen the will that, of the Kremlin. You ever seen that TV show Futurama? Yes. Kind of makes me wonder if like somewhere like behind Putin's desk is there like the head of Stalin and the head of Rasputin. It could be <laughs> Lenin, more likely Lenin because he's Lenin. in that glass case yeah. in uh, Stalin or Leningrad or whatever it's uh, called now. Uh, St. Petersburg, I think they renamed it. But yeah. anyways, uh, you know, and he doesn't ever seem to decay or rot or whatever. But yeah, he's, they probably got Rasputin heads and Lenin heads yeah. and Stalin heads all talking to each other. Uh, but speaking of Rasputin, going back a little bit more old school, uh, the Russian uh, one of the Russian lawmakers is now calling for reparations against the U.S. because of all the sanctions that we've done against them. Uh, and guess what they're looking for? Uh a better currency? I, I don't know. Close. Uh, they actually are demanding that we return Alaska because apparently we, we stole it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because we didn't they buy didn't, it. They didn't receive $87 million. No, it was $7.2 million. $7.2 million. Because that was, that was, it was called Seward's Folly. Yeah, Seward's Folly. Yeah. And, uh, so apparently they don't remember that we bought it. They didn't want it. We bought it, uh, and it turned out to suck for them. So, But it was great for us. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, you made the deal. Mm. Uh, the other thing they want is they want Fort Ross no, in no, California. No, no, wait, no, wait a second. Wait a second. Let's back up a second. So let's say that if they were going to buy that back from us, at the value of the ruble right now, by the time that you add in infrastructure and, and inflation, that'd be close to ten billion American dollars, which would be close to about ten trillion rubles. They'd be better off using Fortnite currency. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that or skin, Roblox or anything. man. Like, yeah. So, did you see me like? Did you see me like headshot that dude, and then I flossed over yeah, the top of him? It's crazy. They don't, there's, there's not enough rubles out there to buy Alaska. No, there's actually uh, not. So, but they also want Fort Ross in California. Oh yeah, because uh, that's uh, an abandoned fort that they tried. Yo, that worked out well for them the first centuries time. ago, and it didn't work out, and everybody almost starved to death. And they just had to abandon. Wasn't it, it basically like a hunter's lodge and like traders' village? Yeah, or it was. It was yeah. their little. I, they just fur trade. That. It was for yeah, the they fur couldn't trade. figure it out. They couldn't yeah. figure it out, so they almost all starved to death, and they went clucking home. capitalism. Yeah, so they want that back, and not only do they want that back, that's just the reparations they want from the United States. But wait, there's, there's more. more. They also would like world reparations and everybody to vacate the continent of Antarctica because they own it naturally. They discovered it, of course. therefore it's theirs. Yeah, that's the way it works. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't just say, you know, well, when our guys landed there, they licked it. So <laughs> I licked it, it's mine. It's licked it, it's mine. <laughs> reminds, me of, reminds me of all good relationships. Yeah, I just, yeah, so they want Antarctica, Alaska. <laughs> uh, I didn't even get yellow card Yeah, they didn't yellow card Fort Ross. Uh, so it's, it's good stuff. They want to eliminate... Um, Disloyal Russians. They want to cleanse them. Almost like they're trying to create a genocide inside cleanse. Russia. Who uses terms like cleanse? And Surely not radical cleanse. dictators. No, no. But you know, it's not like there's any history in Russia of cleansing out population <sighs> ah, no. or anything like that. See, that's your problem. You're, you're reading world history. I need you to go back and read Russia's version of well, world history. I'm, that's where the real I'm history believe, of Russia is. I'm going to start to believe that we're going to start seeing uh, gulags come back in uh, Siberia and uh, political dissidents are going to start families. Are I don't think that ever happened, did it? Yeah, I'm it, pretty, pretty it, sure. It, it did. It did. did? Uh, yeah. So it's going to happen again. He's he's just. Well, you know, Biden did come out and say that 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 he was a war criminal, that he yeah. was committing war crimes. Well, he is committing cr war crimes. I mean, and, so. But, you know, it's not 1939. You can't have, the, have that stuff anymore. Yeah, you cannot. Uh, so it's it's shameful. Um, and there's all the stuff between us and China and China and Russia now. So. Oh, timer just went off. Yeah, the good thing is China's probably rethinking the Taiwan thing right now. Yeah. The current exchange rate is 103 rubles to one U.S. dollar. There are only 14.1 trillion rubles total in circulation. Oh, wow. Nice. So they They'll could, fix that. They'll fix that. So they're just gonna print a bunch yeah, more. Just, just print more rubles. Just print a bunch more. It's what we do here. In, yeah, that's what we do in this country. I mean, I mean, that's out of money. Print some more. Just print some more. No that, that is not gonna. I don't understand inflation. why the government could do it, but it's a crime <laughs> if I do it. I don't even know. I man, it, the inflation rate here has been going do that. going up so much. Those of us at whiskey and wine, in no way, shape, or form, promote counterfeiting your own currency. Counterfeit bad. <laughs> Counterfeit's bad, okay? Good, good, good. I don't, the inflation rate here has been going up so much that uh, I can't even keep up with it on a week to week basis. Um, I know that last week orange juice had gone up for two hundred and twenty seven percent. It's so bad that I think there's a new number called sucks. 
<laughs> and then Un, it, deux, trois, sucks. <laughs> but, all right, and then I know that I know that the Fed just raised the rates for for loan rates. Yeah. Um. So it's kind of like, does it just go like one, two, three, sucks, and then like WTF, and then be like O M F N G. Yeah. I mean, it's it's really sad. I mean, um. People aren't shopping like they were. Uh, gas is ridiculous. People aren't going out to eat as much as they were. Yeah, nobody can afford it. I mean, it's 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 crazy. Uh, you got the smug people out there, like, oh, if you just had a Tesla, then you could sit around and smart. You could smell your own flatulence like I do. It's called a fart cloud, man. So I mean, it's just it, the whole thing is ridiculous. Uh, Core inflation went up six percent in January, six point four percent in February. Nice. And then obviously March numbers aren't out now. The key thing there. with what you just said is that it went up the six point whatever, then the six point whatever. So that one in February was on top of the one in yeah, January. Yeah, it's just going to keep going up. I mean, we're yeah. already at a 40 year record high yeah. for inflation. Gas has never been as high as it has now. That's now, like, in the last couple of days, the barrels have been coming down, but it hit a record high that it's never seen before. It, it, went, up, it went back over 100 today. Yeah. So, I so. mean, it's, but you know, the good news is I've heard it, it none of it. It has anything to do no, uh, with no, politics no. whatsoever because politics cannot influence not at all. the price of gasoline. So Especially I'm whenever they're, you, you don't go for in the moment. You talk about the future. Now, yes, I'll admit, you know, BP, OPEC, all that crap, that they're at, they're at all-time high profits. Yeah, and so, I mean, I get it. Are they doing some price gouging? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. On top of that, though, you know, even though that we have 9,000 permits to drill on federal land here, the rest of those contracts can't get pushed through. And, yes, you can, as the president, influence the price of well, you know, oil it, products it, by your policies. More was you got something? The fuel prices at close were $95.04 per, gal- or yeah. per barrel. Oh, so it fell. So, yeah, here's the here's uh, the It was pro- in the business yesterday. Here's the okay, so today problem. I saw that it had gone up to like 112 Here's the major problem with the gas industry is oil is traded on futures. Yeah. So when anytime there's any type of scare, whether it is a – Political scare, a wartime scare, a disaster scare, whatever, gas goes up. But when that scare eases up and people start feeling a little bit better and oil comes down, it's based on futures so we don't see the immediate drop at the gas pump like we do when it's a scare and it goes up. So futures just allows it to go up fast and just float down like a feather with an updraft. No. Uh, you know, so th- it's ridiculous. They need that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Uh, as well as we need to drill. You mentioned the oil, and I know we're way off topic on this one. Um, so today is at one hundred four hundred nine. It's current, yeah. yeah. So, so I told you, know, you that, that it went over hundred. Yeah. So the the drilling and stuff that you mentioned, you know, yeah, there's nine thousand drills out there. You know, drilling leases that have been used, but the the wait, rest of those contracts. But can the get wait through, for though. bureaucracy once the permit is issued to the time you're allowed to drill is like twelve months on federal land. In the state of Texas, in context, when you get that permit, it's two weeks to start drilling. That's but now that's just the permit to start the drilling. On the federal lands, there's like fourteen other steps that you have yeah, to do, and, that, and they all, all have to get approved. And then all and you can have to twelve 13, months. You can have thirteen of those approved, and then the fourteenth one says no. Then the past you're done. You're and done. Thing, and, and oil companies have to pay labor on all this stuff. They got crews sitting out there. They got equipment sitting out there. Uh, and, you know, and what are you just like, okay, okay, uh, madman, I'm going to hire you to be a roughneck. Uh, can you start work in nine to 12 months? No, you're going to go where the, you, I'm going to go, where, you can go to Texas, you can go to Montana where they're drilling oil. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, well, let's say, well, let's get to, uh, let's get to our next topic, which is the, the uh, before we do, do we want to do a side by side now? Like maybe like the citrus yeah. to the Guinness. Let's do that. Let's do Since that. we just finished the citrus, let's do the citrus to the Guinness. The yeah. citrus. One to the coffee one. I like it. All right, now for the the stout. I like them both. I do not mm. like going from the citrus to no, the coffee. No, that's a weird. Not. That's a weird one. Now right I've got there. an aftertaste. All I said that. All you can I, taste is smoke. Yep. Yeah. You are absolutely yeah, correct. That's. It's almost like. Um, it's like an ashtray. Yeah, it's like the mesquite. <laughs> Whenever you go, uh, that's a good crown. point. Whenever you go, what is that? It's like the mesquite crown. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. it's it's not good. Ah, yeah. So don't don't go from the blonde <sighs> to the the stout. You won't like it. 
All right. All so right. you want to go for the stout to the blonde, or you want to save that for the next one? Because you know, I think it, this deserves oh, a uh, reverse direction. Yeah, we're gonna have we're taste. gonna have to uh, go go let's the, get the, let's the other get the, way too. Let's get the next. I one may too. have may have to um, let you talk for a second and run to the the refrigerator. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So uh, so topic number three, the, the big, big fuse fuse stands for follow up. Does it? Uh, yes, sort of. Not really. Maybe. No. Maybe. All right. So tell you what, you want to start? You want me to? Uh, I want to take this first one. I'm sorry. I know it's your turn, but I want to take this first one. <laughs> of course you do. So, uh, All right. I'll tell you what. Your timer started now. Jesse Smollett. I am not going to commit suicide. I am not I will suicidal. Not commit suicide. I am not suicidal. So we talked about it last episode. He got 150 days uh, in county jail as a oh. sentence, right? So that's 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 cool. I mean, he faked a hate crime. I don't know what the proper sentence is, so I'm not going to argue the 150 days. Some people say it was too little. I'm sure some people say it was too much. You know what? I'm going to go with the judge on this one. He said 150 days. Cool. 150 days, brother. Uh, but anyway, so he stood up, said he wasn't suicidal, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and then he he goes in. They take him away as he's you know screaming, um, and he ends up on suicide watch. Uh, now you got to also remember he was screaming, "I'm innocent." Yeah. And there's nothing funny about being suicidal. Uh, you know, we're making a lot of it because this, you know, obviously uh, is kind of a show what we do here. Uh, but he ends up on suicide watch once he get in there. And five days into his 150-day sentence, he has now been released. It's based on an appeal. I don't know how it, what was won on the appeal, but he got an appeal. So it looks like we're going to go through this whole process again. Because uh, he does profess his innocence, like you said. Yeah, because, you know, they didn't catch him on video lying. They but- did. They didn't like catch him giving the personal trainers he was using personal checks. No, no, he wrote a personal check. No, he, no, he didn't write personal checks to them. And no. they di- and they didn't. Com- I think the thing it got him is he might have put it in the what happened in the memo line. <laughs> they, <laughs> Fake they, hate crime. They, they they didn't come forward and confess that he. Oh, no, they, they did. They uh they, um, they ratted him out. He wasn't sitting there for forty five minutes waiting for the police to get there. Yeah, no, no, he did that. He's still uh, with the, uh, the, with, uh, the uh, with the with the cord around his neck. The uh, the subway place that he ordered a sandwich from um, had already closed. So what, what? subway's not open at two a.m. No, it's just so really? I mean, Even so in Chicago. So, so there's a chance that he's innocent. <sighs> well, first of all, there are no MAGA supporters in, in Chicago. Oh my god! <laughs> all right. So yeah, no, he's he's. Maybe he'll get a retrial. I don't but know. But this he, is this is getting fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's sad. Because if that was anybody else, it, I mean, yeah, we, but we, we'd be. But it's you know. nice to have money. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, one of my one of my favorite segments in the big FUs. Where, where in, in the, the world, world is Kamala Harris? Harris? Well, so still not back to the border, but that's a no, you know, no, but no, she no. but she's representing us over in the uh, Ukraine, preventing World War Three. No, she's in Poland. Or Poland, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, that but I'm was. glad that I'm glad that she finally went to Europe. Yeah, she flew her broom all the way over there. <laughs> <laughs> I got you taking a drink. <laughs> so yeah, so she's apparently. Um, I got it on my notes. She's big on the Twitter. Um, she tweeted that uh, the U.S. is supporting Ukraine in defense of the NATO alliance. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't see this. She she tweeted that the United States is supporting Ukraine in defense of the NATO alliance. Okay, so first off, I follow her on Twitter. I did not see this. Well, they deleted that bad boy quick, but it went out. So is she saying that the Ukraine is in NATO? Uh, if you were to li- read that tweet, yes, that the, the NATO alliance is now defending Ukraine. Because now, hold up. Hold NATO. up, Sparky. Let's back this information train up. Didn't she leak stuff out? Like pre-invasion, yeah. So before the invasion, even before that, the invasion buildup, uh, uh, she had, uh, I think, stated something that uh, NATO had, or excuse me, that Ukraine had put its uh, bid in to become a NATO member, uh, and that of course aggravated the Russians and you know build up. And Pretty the, sure that probably the shouldn't Russians have been were announced. just we're just training, comrade. It's fine. It's our sovereign right to train. 
Oh, okay, yeah, maybe our tanks have now rolled across the border. We may okay, have accidentally... Maybe we're, talk, maybe we're vomiting maternity hospitals. Nuclear facilities. But that Jewish president in Ukraine, bio, you know, he's, a, he's a Nazi, so it's okay. Bioweapons facilities. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's just, yes, she's a mess. So between the two of them, they both are just, like, saying stuff that... That no one outside of a eyes only top well, secret room if you, should do. If you think that is a stupid thing to say, it is St. Patrick's Day. It is, and we're all Irish today. And we're all Irish today, including my pint glass. President Biden. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Yeah. I saw that today. I saw it. I so, saw, I, uh, okay. I'll let you have it. I may be Irish. But I'm not stupid. I married Dominic's daughter. If that would have been anybody else behind that microphone, they would have crucified that president. Oh, my gosh. So CNN would be top story. Trump called everyone in Ireland a moron. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, so... He, he may be Irish, all, but he's not uh, stupid. It may, so it may, it's just are all like Irish people stupid. I don't know, just but it's not him. But it's, it's one of those things where that, like, literally, because he's the every, one that gets lost from Marine One to the back door. Everybody is just so used to the idiotic things this guy says now yeah. that it's okay. But at least it's not Orange Man. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah. There's no more mean tweets. Yeah. I mean, I, I may be I Irish. For one, am glad we don't have Orange Man and Dollar Seventy Nine guys. <laughs> I may be Irish, but I'm not stupid. Oh, timer, timer just went off. All right. Well, what we got her? Are you ready to go back? Uh, let's see here. What we got? Um, we want to do the. Uh, you're, you're making. You're making. You're yeah, I'm making weird noises. You're making. Are you okay over there? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Do I need to give you that like the Heimlich maneuver? No. That's right, so we need to need to go ahead and. So we went from the citrus to the smoke. Now we want to go from the smoke stout. The stout, yeah. yeah. All right, so here we go. It tastes way different whenever you don't go the other way. It's going so, that way is way easier on the palate. Yeah. So going from the stout to uh, the blonde is way, way better. Way, way better. easier. Um, Going from the blonde, the stout is funky. That's seven eleven. That's seven eleven dumpster rub. Yeah, it's just it's not good. Um, but hey, twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Yeah, so that's a that's a rough one right there. It's just weird how the the two don't mix together like that. No. So, uh, so what do you what do you think? Uh, me personally, if I had to choose between one of the one or the other, there are a lot of blondes that are out there. Blue is Texas. Yeah, I mean, some of them have Aquanet. <laughs> Some of them come in a cardboard box. Yeah. In my personal opinion, there are a lot of blondes that are made that taste close to this <laughs> or that have the same flavor, the same <laughs> aroma, <laughs> that had the same texture whenever it hits your mouth. It's just the pH balance. <laughs> it's, it's the pH balance. Oh, this one must. I, bet, I wonder how good it goes with pineapple. Um, so anyway, um, it's a little th sassy. <laughs> <laughs> that that being said, it's not so far different from other blonde beers, beers yeah. that it would make me want to seek this one out. Yeah, this is a full-bodied blonde. It is. So I mean, it's if very you're be robust. Blondes, you want a full-bodied blonde. It's a very robust blonde. Yeah. Um, it's not. Too top heavy on the on the no. front end whenever you're whenever you're taking it in your mouth and letting it let it cut, letting it coat the tongue. You both need a yellow <laughs> card based on intent. But in all seriousness, yeah. let's get serious. In all yeah. seriousness, yeah, it's if, great if, right up front. Yeah, this, I mean, this blonde is amazing. It, it's, it's great whenever it's right in your face. Um, there's nothing about this particular blonde though that would make me want to go. Oh, you know what? I want to grab a Guinness blonde. No, I would not kick this blonde out. No. I mean, I wouldn't kick it out. I wouldn't kick it out of the refrigerator for eating crackers or anything. Yeah, no, nothing like but that. But there's nothing as far in the in the world of blonde beers that would make me go, "Oh, I want to go get a Guinness blonde." But the Guinness Extra Stout, well, it's, it's 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 a Guinness Extra Stout. Yeah. It, it's it's thick. It's robust. It's got that 
that flavor like you just got through like getting sung, sung something sultry in your ear and you know like in a jazz bar maybe no no maybe not but anyway it's better than the blonde references <laughs> i like the blonde i mean that's I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna go with the extra you style. Style. i'm gonna go with the blonde i mean uh this is the kind of blonde that'll burn up your whole paycheck oh yeah uh, i mean you just keep going back to it and <laughs> And you know it's a money pit. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a money pit. But it's just one of those it's one of those type of blondes that you want to take home. Yeah. Your friends come over, they want to give it a try. <laughs> You're you like, know? yeah, you can have some of that blonde. Go for it, man. Just no, but all serious, you know what? I just just pass actually. it around. No, I'm I'm not. I don't I don't, I don't pass I don't pass it around. Uh, it's, it's just it's just me. Uh, uh, but no, this blonde it's good. <laughs> <laughs> You two are pathetic. <laughs> yeah. She's even got the yellow card ready for yeah, us. Yeah, I know. It's just like ready to it's like quick draw right there. Because you guys can't see this, I literally had the yellow card sitting on the table ready for a moment's notice. So, But no, this is uh, I, I just like it. I mean, I'm not really a big stout guy anyways or a draught guy. Um, the coffee thing is just kind of not me for the beer, so I, I'm going to go with the blonde. And so I guess we have a split decision, no. and it all comes down to the morals. Morals. So there are pros and cons to each one. This particular blonde is not the standard Guinness blonde. It's the Baltimore blonde, which is more citrusy, um, more hypoweizen e. The burger. The Guinness stout is not the draught, so it's got the more coffee-heavy, smoky flavor than yeah. than the draught. So, like I said, pros and cons to each. I, unlike the rooster, am a coffee person. And I like my coffee, my whiskey, and my beer thick enough and strong enough to walk off the table. So I'm going with the extra stout. <laughs> Doesn't she get a yellow I, card I, I, for I'm that? Gonna, I'm going to yellow card you for your <laughs> innuendo. I mean, jeez. In your endo. <laughs> Little sexual in your endos. No, we're there. sitting here talking beers and she's turning it into she, she just turned some it. adult after hours thing. <laughs> Whiskey and wine <laughs> at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's oh, like uh, what was it that used to be on USA? Uh, like the up all night or something? Uh, I'm like, just thinking the like uh, whiskey and wine. What was it? Up the, all night. Was it Cinemax or HBO that had the after dark? Like, yeah, I don't know if had that. Yeah. All Cinemax. right. So th- so after this week dark. the split decision made it the uh, Guinness Extra Stout. So yeah. you guys like the ne- stout? Next week will be our tournament of fermentation. And uh, so you've been listening to episode 43 of Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, oh, wait a second. There's not a single beer this week that left me prickly on the inside. Well, I'm going to tell you, the stout left me prickly on the inside when we did that go back from the citrus <laughs> to that one. It was like a damn dirty ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Whiskey and Wine, episode 43. Happy St. Patty's Day. And remember, in a world full of chickens, be a rooster. You're listening to Whiskey and Thanks for tuning in to Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman, where you can catch brand new episodes every Saturday at 4 p.m. on Deep Dallas Radio. I'm locked and loaded with DJ Shane Gunn. Special thanks to our sponsor, GiftedChicken.com, home to all your beard, bath, and body care needs. Veteran owner operator right here in North Texas. Or to pick up a bottle of Overlord's Dungeon Oil. It's 100% all natural coconut oil. It's prickly on the inside.